Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are opening up this month's subscription box. So for this month I thought we would do something a little bit more fun and it unfortunately arrived while I was at work yesterday. Today is kind of a crummy day and also I'm pretty busy so we're just going to open this package up and I happen to know that I don't need to handle it today. So we're going to do the rest of the well, it'll just make sense in a minute, but we're gonna do the rest of it another day. So if I do a wardrobe change, that's why. So I already broke the seal, um, but we're going to just dive in. It looks like this. I guess I should tell you what the package is from. So this is from Our Suburban Family Homestead. I will include the name of the specific subscription and the price um, on screen. Shipping took about a week, give or take a day. So right on top, I see this little card, which gives us kind of a list of what's in this kit. And so then we have the kit. So I thought we would do something a little bit more fun this month. Instead of just a plant, I bought like a kid's kit. So this kit is te technically something you would buy as like a fun thing to do with your kids. So if you have kids, you can do it with them. Um, ah, however, I just thought it would be fun. Um, so I got it for me. I don't have any kids, at least none that would want to do this. My cats uh, would not want to do this. But essentially it's a microgreens kit. I um, mean, it didn't say what the microgreen was, uh, it looks like this month's is broccoli. Um, so this is super cool. Oh, it's got like the instructions step by step. Oh, and then it's got like a game that you could play with your kids, the bro broccoli counting game. So then in this, it's got like a little sticker up here that's got a broccoli on it, but we've got some some soil and some seeds. Now I broke it out today because I wanted to get everything out of the package, make sure that it wasn't really um, time sensitive. But since it's seeds and soil, what I am going to do is kind of do a cut here, but I don't have time today to do this potting. So we will do this in a couple of days for me in a couple of seconds for you. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's a few days later and now we are going to grow some broccoli. So had a couple of days away from this. I do not remember what I last said, but if I didn't show, this box comes with soil, seeds, the container to plant in, instructions, and a cute little game for children. So we're going to focus on the instructions because we're just going to plant the broccoli. So it's got some information about broccoli microgreens, uh, but we're just gonna get into growing it. So this first step, I'm going to assume this is the growing container because this is the only container I was given. Um, and I am going to, I'm going to just use it normally. Um, so this is going to be the bottom and then this will be a lid if the lid is needed. If not, I can tear it off. But step number one is to put three quarters of the soil into the container. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to put the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing instead of just me talking about it. Awesome, so you can't fully see me, but. I'm going to say that this is approximately three quarters of the soil. Um, and if you want to see a little bit more of what the soil looks like, hopefully it'll focus. It looks like it's got quite a bit of cocoa core or something similar in it. Then, so then step number two is going to be to scatter the seeds on top of the soil. Because they didn't specify, I'm going to use all the seeds because they didn't say half the seeds or anything like that. And there is quite a lot of seeds in there. So hopefully I'm doing this part correctly. All right, now that the seeds are scattered on top, it looks kind of like this. It'll focus. 
Seeds are just little, little balls. And now I'm going to put the rest of the soil onto, I wanna try and get it as even as possible. I have more soil if I need more soil, but I wanna do this as it was intended to be done. So that is the rest of the soil. It'll focus. Can't even tell there's seeds under there. Next, it says to gently, uh, press down gently to firm the seeds. So I'm just going to press down on the soil. I've never done this when planting seeds. I don't know how necessary this is, but this is made for kids and it means the kids get to be a little dirty. So that's kind of fun. Next, I'm going to water thoroughly with a gentle stream of water or spray bottle. It's important to keep the seeds moist every day. So I'm going to use a spray bottle so that I don't splash the soil and the seeds everywhere. All right, so this is my spray bottle. However, it doesn't have a ton of water in, so we'll see if this is enough water. This is a pressure waterer, so I'm gonna just test the stream first. Ah! Okay, turns out that there is not enough water in there, and I definitely made a mess. So I actually have some soil right here for a different project I'm doing. I'm going to recover the seeds, fill my waterer, and try this again. Okay, now let's try this again. Perfect. Now I'll give you a look. Nice and moist. Again, I made a bit of a mess, but that's okay. So this step also says to water the seeds every single day and to place the garden box in a sunny location inside, like a windowsill. I have a windowsill, I'll be putting it in a windowsill. So next, if we look at the next steps, it's um, to water the seeds one or two times per day, keep the soil moist and allow it to soak slowly. And then the final step is a bit of a lengthy step, but it essentially says that after a couple of days, the greens will begin growing. About seven to 12 days, they'll be about three to four inches tall. And you will, this is for kids, so it says ask a parent to help you, but you trim up the greens and rinse all the stems and leaves, and then they are edible. So you can add them to a salad or a sandwich. It has some pictures of salad and sandwich with micro broccoli greens on them. So I'm going to give you another look at the soil. And actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a, a week before posting this video because I want to give you an update on what the microgreens look like. So I will insert that update right here. All right, I have some very unfortunate news. And I think it's my fault. So before we make it about the subscription box. I think I underwatered these seeds. However, let me show you. Here they are about three-ish weeks later and nothing. I stopped watering them about a couple days ago, kind of gave up. This is the results. I had them sitting in the windowsill here with all my succulents and cacti. However, I was forgetting to water it way too much. It was drying out. So I moved it over here to my greenhouse and still nothing. Again, this is the kids planting box from a garden we grow. I will have all the info in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more houseplant content, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I go live, and I will see you next time.